everyone. So again, good morning. This is Aubin with Inside Real Estate. I'm a success coach here. And today I want to welcome you guys to KV Core. Um, you guys are now up and uh, getting live with KV Core, which is really exciting. Um, I There's a lot that we can talk about today, but we're going to really kind of cover a more foundational type of training for you guys. Um, this is to help you guys know um, where to log in, how to log in. Let's update a few settings, configure a few things to set you guys up on the right foot as we go through our additional trainings in the next coming days and the weeks. So first, I really want to start out here um, on our KV Core platform. And I want to point out some of the, the features that we have available for those of you who may need additional help, for those of you who want to kind of learn on your own, um, for those of you who just like to, to know stuff, which is probably my category. Um, but we have a few different areas where you guys can go to, to learn more, to, to do more, and uh, be really up to date and knowledgeable about KV Core. The first place I want to send you is up here in the upper right hand corner of your KV Core dashboard. And, and we'll walk through you know, how to log in in just a second. But making sure you guys are aware of this, we've got our KV Core training tile in the upper right-hand corner. Now, then we also can click now on our view learning portal, which I've already done here, and I've gone to my courses. Uh, so these courses are things like your core quick start. Now I know it says 27 lessons, that's a little overwhelming. It's it's not, don't worry, I thought the same thing. Um, but you guys can scroll down, um, kind of see the course curriculum, We've got chapter one of getting started, which is probably what you guys are going to want to cover today. Importing your leads is just another thing we're going to talk about today. Um, and even doing things like setting up your website, managing your leads, leveraging your listings, um, you know, great options. Um, you can, you know, just do one chapter per day, knock out a few at a time, whatever, you know, your time is permitting. Um, Make sure you guys jump here and click on click here to start course, though. I was trying to do it from below a little bit earlier. So make sure you, you, you scroll up, click on that one to get started. Now, back within the KV Core platform, we've got our support portal over here on the left hand navigation bar. When you guys click on that, that's going to take you to support.insiderealestate.com. Now, this is going to be amazing for your help articles broken out into different training topics, um, your product updates, your new features. Um, we even have a webinars and training tab for those of you who want to go in and learn more about um, lead generation and conversion tactics in video form. Um, we even have a YouTube channel for it. Um, our KV Core top 10 videos, I think these are probably with that core quick start probably the, the top place to go. They're short videos. The longest one is like number nine, and I think it's 12 minutes long, so really not bad. Um, I'd encourage you guys to watch these. Go to the core quick start. Um, you know, again, whatever your time is permitting, um, but again, those are amazing places to start. Now, if you still have additional questions, um, you know, things pop up. I, I know I do all the time. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner is our chat icon. If you click on that, that's going to pop up with my KV Core support team. Uh, you guys can start new conversations with them. Um, they typically reply in about two minutes. I know it says five, but about two. So you're looking at a pretty quick turnaround time there. Um, you guys can even see previous conversations. Um, you guys can um, access the support portal here. You can make sure that KV Core, you know, when was it last updated? Are all systems operational? Is there a delay? Is there an update going on? Um, you can see that from this status bar below. So now let's talk about how to log into KV Core. And it looks like we have a new update here, which is kind of fun. Um, but how to access KV Core? Uh, you guys will need to go to kvcore.com um, um, for the regular way. Um, you guys have, um, I believe it is crm.location.re, um, and I can confirm that. Um, in just a second. Omar, that's a great question. Oh, hours for chat are 7 to 4 Pacific time, maybe 7 to 5 Pacific, um, Monday through Friday. Um, you guys can also email my support team at any time, uh, kvcore at insiderealestate.com. Um, they are closed Saturdays and Sundays, though, so keep that in mind as well. Um, All right, so uh, making sure you guys uh, bookmark that login page for you guys. Um, yours will look a little bit different from mine. Um, you guys should have you know, your logo in the upper uh, left-hand corner. Um, I've just got our, our demo account here up and running. 
Um, so once you guys have gone to um, you know your locate or your login page, um, you guys will uh, log in with your uh, your email address. Um, hopefully, you guys have got a link to uh, reset or you know create your password. Um, get logged in, and this is kind of what you guys should be looking at um, on your own dashboard screen. Uh, so we've got things like company announcements, your KV Core training. Um, we have a today's summary, your activities tab. And um, I was correct; it was uh, CRM dot location re. So L O K a t i o n r e dot com. Um, so you guys can save that CRM and let me actually just chat it out um, to you guys. So you have that. You can bookmark it, uh, making sure that this is where you guys are going to go to manage and access your um, your CRM. And I'm just going to respond to Omar's message, but you guys will. I'm going to send it to everybody so you guys can see that. Copy that. Bookmark that one. Um, so now that you're in here, you've seen all this stuff, you've got some, some things going on, and we're going to talk through some of these um, today, how to configure some of them as well. So the first one I want to talk about, we've already talked about our, our training tile. Um, company announcements are pretty self-explanatory. You may have company-wide announcements coming out. You guys are not going to be getting emails about those, so making sure you log into Kiwi Core every couple days is pretty important, making sure you don't miss anything. Um, down here below is our activities tab. Now this is what activity is taking place with your contacts. Um, so things like who's a new lead? Who has just texted me? New emails, um, hot leads, people have viewed properties. Um, you can view if people have saved properties. Um, you know, filtering out by any of these options down here. So does any activity that is taking place with your contacts that might be noteworthy? This is kind of where they all go at one particular point, and then we'll break them out um, in, a, in a whole different uh, section in a second. Now, the cool thing about this activities tab is you guys can click on anybody's names, any of the leads' names, and it will take you to that specific leads profile. You guys can also respond to any of these other emails that you guys can just click on, um, respond to, email, call, text, um, whatever it is that you guys want, you know, based on uh, whatever activity is happening. Now, I'm going to skip these calls and these tasks for a second until after we talk about your profile. I think it'll make a little bit more sense, so bear with me for a second. We're going to click on the calendar section. Now, you guys can connect your uh, Gmail calendars to KV Core. You can do so by clicking up here on this envelope icon on the upper right-hand bar where you guys can connect your Google account as well as your Outlook account. You can do Outlook for your um, emails. You can also do your uh, Gmail account um, emails as well as your calendar as well. Um, again, just connect it. You'll sign in um, with your information, and that will auto-populate down below. My business. Now, this is where you guys can take a look at um, how many contacts do you have, what statuses do they fall in, just giving you a high glance of what's going on with your contacts. Um, we also have a company video. Now, your company may or may not decide to provide a video for you guys. This could be things like a training video. This could be a company highlight. This could be a, a TED Talk, a music video, really whatever they want to put. You guys may have that option here. You guys may also have some company cloud links, so letting you log into different places like um, Google Drive, your company calendar, um, third-party places that you may need to log into with a, a hyperlink. Um, Stacy is saying she's having a hard time logging in with uh, crm.locationre.com. Um, can anybody else confirm that? Um, just, just trying to make sure that it's a, a wide issue. I can get my, uh, my engineers on it immediately. Uh, Stacy, Omar can log in with that link. Um, he also used um, kvcore.com, which is, you know, you can access it both ways. Um, but Omar, does CRM.locationRE work? Okay, you're getting a warning. Perfect. Okay, that is good to know. Thank you, Steve and Stacy. I will get my engineers to correct that today so we can get you guys logged in using your, your custom login. Um, in the meantime, maybe just for today and start using you know the, the regular one tomorrow, 
Um, you guys can just go to kvcore.com to make sure you're in there, you're using the system and you're testing it out. Um, All right, so company cloud links, we kind of talked through clicking on those, it should take you to that specific link. Um, okay, cool. Sorry guys, I'm just reading all of your messages. Thank you so much for typing and I really, really appreciate it. Okay, cool. I let them know the, the unsecure thing is, is why you're getting the difficulty. Awesome. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, cool. So moving over to our blog section, if you guys have an internal blog within your company, um, you may have that blog feed set up over here. Um, if not, it'll just say no blog feed available like mine does, um, just uh, available for your company if you guys have one. This What's New tab is... Uh, really fun though, um, it's connected to our KV Core Updates Twitter account. Um, so with KV Core, it's a, a fairly new platform. We've got stuff coming out, um, releases happening all the time. Um, and so it's a great place to check out uh, things that are happening via our support portal. Um, so you guys can click on the link, go to the support portal, read about it, um, but we'll give you a little a teaser in our uh, Twitter update as well. Yeah, thank you, Tommy. So um, they're having some issues with Wi-Fi. I'm going to slow down a bit. So I'll give Tommy and them just a few minutes. And then we will move on to our profile, which is up here at the upper right-hand corner. We're going to click on my profile. All right, Tommy, I, I hope I'm okay to, to talk about the profile. Let me know if I need to, to pause or, or wait for a few more minutes while you guys are getting that uh, all set up. Uh, so in your guys' profile, this is where, this is kind of your homework assignment part one. I want you guys to jump into KV Core, go to your profile and make sure all of your information is updated and it's accurate. Because all of this information, well, most of the information that you guys provide is also going to appear on your KV Core specific websites. Um, it can also appear to be added to your um, automatic communication that goes out from KV Core. So really important that you make sure to jump in, you have a nice picture, your name, you add your MLS ID, um, your social media profiles, contact information, um, you know, any things like, you know, spoken languages, designations, your about me, as well as a signature. Now, all of these uh, should be good to, you know, most of these should be filled out, but again, if you wanna update, you wanna change some of these things, um, this is homework assignment part one, just to confirm that's all there and, and ready to go. Um, Frank said he tried to set up his profile with a photo and he received a, uh, a 500 error message. Um, I'm not sure, Frank, I've never come across that issue. We may need to reach out to my support team, making sure that we can get that added. Um, even if you attach a photo to my support team, they can probably add that for you as well. I'm not sure why you would be getting a 500 message. Um, Irina, yes, this is being recorded, so you are good to go there. We will. Uh, we have this available for you after the fact. Uh, Brian said that they also got that error, uh, seems to be resolved now, um, so you guys should be able to add that um, back in. Miguel said he, he got a 500 error, but it still uploads. Um, I will let them know too. When adding agent photos. Cool. You guys are awesome. I love this. Okay. Um, so jumping out of, you know, your kind of specific settings here. 
I want to talk about more about the KV Core specific things. So with KV Core, our, our big thing that we talk about and we focus on is the automation and the nurturing element of KV Core. So what that means is KV Core is going to automatically be assigning you calls and, and tasks to, um, to reach out and nurture your contacts. KV Core is also going to be setting up um, things like behavioral alerts, and we also have drip campaigns which is automatic emails and text messages that can go out to your contacts. So there's a few different ways that KV Core is kind of automating your business, taking the guessing game out of a lot of what you guys do on a daily basis, making sure that you guys have enough time to do things that you guys, you know, that, that computers really can't do, um, really trying to free up you guys as well. So the reason I'm talking about this right now is because I want to talk about our daily call creation tab. And I'll like, how I got there is by clicking on this gear icon next to the edit button. Now, making sure you guys understand the statuses to receive phone calls. Everything within KV Core is based off of statuses. So I'm going to jump to my support portal. You guys are going to laugh at me, and I know that's OK. <laughs> but we're going to go to um, status. And I'm just going to type that in my keywords. And I'm going to click on our contact statuses support article. Now, what we have here is all of the KV Core default statuses with their definitions. Now, this is really important for you guys to remember, to note, because again, just about everything in KV Core is based off of these specific statuses. So our spheres, prospects, new leads, active leads, clients, contracts, close, archived. Now, they may seem similar to any other uh, system that you guys have used in the past, but again, Please just jump in here, read about these statuses, understand them, because you may be slightly off and your leads could get some different communication that you may not have wanted them to receive. Um, Vanessa is saying my screen is really blurry. Is that true for everyone else as well? Uh, Vanessa, it may be, need to be a configuration on your side. Alfred, Miguel, and, and Sherry are saying everything is good on their end. All right, so jumping back to the platform. So what you, once you guys have understood the statuses, uh, making sure you guys understand you have the, the control of which statuses do you want KV Core to assign for you to, to make those phone calls. So I've chosen my prospects, my new leads, and my active leads. But you guys can click down and select any of the other options to have KV Core assign those calls and tasks for you. Now, there also is a... Um, oh, reading this. Um, there's also a article talking about why does KV Core schedule calls for certain people, letting you know kind of our algorithm of, you know, what makes a, a person kind of quote unquote, valuable enough to receive these daily phone calls. So it's just how to daily phone calls. And we've got what contacts are daily calls created for. Just another place where you guys can go to learn about why KV Core is doing this. Why are they scheduling phone calls? So you understand, um, you know, the importance of making, of actually making those phone calls rather than just kind of putting them to the side. So back on here, you guys can select, okay, let's auto create calls each day. Now, each day is Monday through Friday, making sure that KV Core, you know, is scheduling those calls for you. You can also have a KV Core create calls on the weekends. So Saturdays and Sundays, you can turn it on. Um, but at the least, I just have each day turned on. Now, you guys can also say, okay, well, what's the maximum number of calls that I want KV Core to create for me each day? We default to 10, but maybe as you guys are getting started, you're not you know, sure of the system yet, just jump down and say, let's just do five calls at maximum per day. That doesn't mean there's always going to be you know, five calls every single day, but just at max. You can also have KV Core send you a daily email letting you know, kind of giving you an advance notice of how many calls and how many tasks you have to complete that day. So we default to 8 a.m. getting that sent out, but you guys can do as early as 6 a.m. with your coffee, you know, you're reading stuff at the gym, going through emails, um, late as noon, maybe you've got some things going on with kids or with meetings, things like that. Um, you guys can select the time that fits your schedule best. Now, down below, we have our holidays. Now, this is, do you want KV Core to schedule calls for you on, these, uh, on the holidays listed below? 
Now, we have said, no, we don't. Uh, our toggle is gray, which means it's off. Or you guys can say, well, you know what? I actually do want to call in a few of these, and I'm going to make those blue, but the rest I'm going to take off and, and not call anybody. Now, over here on the far right-hand side, you can, uh, can see the offices that you're a part of. You can also click on this Actions drop-down, and you guys can change your own password at any time. Um, so if you needed help doing that, maybe you just want to change your password, you can always access that um, within your profile in the Actions drop-down. Uh, this recording will be available uh, probably an hour from the time, maybe an hour from the time it started. Um, so give us a little bit later um, this afternoon, Vanessa, and we'll get that sent out uh, probably to Tommy um, to get that sent out. Uh, Doreen, you cannot look at your profile info. Okay, so go to, uh, are you as long as you're logged in, click on your email address in the upper right-hand corner and click down on My Profile. Uh, Tiffany and Alice are kind of on the same page, uh, on the same wavelength here, um, but uh, KV Core uh, kind of does not really cold phone calls, but your leads are coming in from your own personal website that you have with KV Core. They're coming in from your office website, as well as your company website. They may also come in off of different marketing uh, tactics um, and type lead generation types that you guys have done within KV Core. And um, kind of a perfect segue is I was going to send us to our lead engine to help you guys kind of with redirecting your lead sources from places like Zillow, Realtor, Trulia, Homes.com, OpCity. I mean, wherever you guys are bringing in leads, you can redirect them into KV Core, making your lives a lot easier. So you guys aren't chasing leads all over the Internet. You don't have 45 tabs open. It's just going to be in KV Core. You're going to be able to separate them by their status. Um, you're going to be able to separate them by their source, uh, making sure you know, you know, where this lead came from, how to communicate with them best, um, because we're going to pull in just about every piece of information that's been provided. So let's talk about your own bulk import first. So this is your sphere of influence, your contact database, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, but making sure you guys get that imported into KV Core is going to be a huge win for you guys. Now, the reason for this is because what I recently just talked about is that nurturing and, and automation feature and, and piece within KV Core. That's what we do best. Um, it's it's really everything, especially you know in regards to leads today. You got to have that incubation time. So you, you import your contacts into KV Core, you allow KV Core to, to work its magic, put them on some drip campaigns, we can put them on some search alerts within KV Core. That way you guys can see all of the information in one easy spot, um, easily be able to uh, communicate and uh, reach out to them. So let's talk about how to do this import. So we've got a, a nice you know 10 minute video here. We also have a lead configuration specialist that you guys can schedule a time to talk to about this. But all we need is a CSV file of your contacts, and then you guys can start importing those into KV Core. Now this is kind of homework part two, making sure that your leads are um, kind of getting set up into KV Core. So if you guys want, you guys can import your contacts yourself by you know do it yourself fashion, taking your column titles, and matching those with the fields available within KV Core. You can also have my lead configuration specialist team import those leads for you. It does just take a few days, but this is probably the preferred method of just having my team do it for you. It's totally free. Again, you just have to send them your contacts, answer a few questions within this form for us so we and, um, import them uh, appropriately, you know, exactly how you guys want it. And then that'll get done in a couple of days, and then your leads will already um, automatically be in the smart CRM. Now, we do have a lead import template. Um, oh, let's see. How to import. It would help if I spelled that right. Okay, how to import your contacts to KV Core. I'm kind of talking about it, uh, but again, we've got our import template to help you guys, you know, show you how to um, arrange your contacts before importing them. Um, we, we even have the list of supported fields if you're not sure if that particular thing is going to be available within KV Core. 
Um, Deborah has asked a great question. Will history be imported with the contact as well? Now, the history kind of can be, um, Deborah, if you put it in the form of like a note or an agent note, things like that, we can add all of that information in there for you. Um, but things like, you know, their capture method, uh, when did they register, um, their source, as well as like any search alerts, um, their last close date, that can all be added automatically and, and kind of look aesthetically pleasing within the leads profile. Now the second way, uh, or maybe that maybe more appropriately is the second piece of your uh, homework part two, um, is your lead Dropbox. So these are your third party sources for leads. Up here in the upper right hand tile, I'm gonna click on choose lead source. So again, realtor.com, uh, opcity, homes.com, Trulia, um, even Zillow. We've got different um, emails as well as keys for to allow you to redirect those new leads into KV Core. Instead of having to, you know, to search your email, manually add it to the system, KV Core is just going to import it all for you. All you have to do is quickly set it up. So the majority of the time, you guys are going to be using this email option. So again, this is for Realtor, this is for Trulia, this is for Homes.com, uh, this is for OpCity. You're going to copy this email. You're going to log in, let's say, to Realtor.com. You're going to, um, you know, go to your profile. Uh, and then have this email address as a forwarding option. And so you guys can um, forward those new lead notifications to KV Core to get that lead. Now, Zillow is also shown, um, when you guys try to connect to your CRM within Zillow, um, instead of typing out KV Core, it's going to be under the name of conversion. Um, that's one of our other brands. Um, so just use conversion if you guys are going to connect to Zillow. We also have a Zapier key. Um, so third-party places like uh, Facebook lead ads, Mojo Dialer, um, your Google Sheets, you know, wherever it is that you guys are storing your contacts, um, you can connect them with Zapier. Now that's a third-party company. We just have a we just provide a key to um, you know send information to KV Core or out of KV Core. We have a support article for each one of these, and they're all separated by, you know, email import, Zapier, or Zillow to help you guys get all of those connected. Now, if you guys uh, do need help, again, my support team is great. They will definitely help you connect that. All right, so back out of the lead engine, and we're going to jump to this smart CRM section above. So we've, uh, you know, we've done our homework, we've imported our contacts, we have redirected our third party sources. Now in our smart CRM, you guys will have all of your contacts be right here within this section. Uh, again, they're broken out by status. So remember your statuses, remember those definitions. Um, KV Core will automatically rate your leads uh, once a week based on their, you know, behavior, their non-behavior with you and the website. Uh, it'll show their interest, you know, when did you last call them, when were they created, um, what's their source. Now something I'd also do is click over here on the right hand side where it says columns and then click down where it says system source down here and turn that toggle button on. Now this is going to be able to customize your view on the smart CRM page, but I like to look at my system source because instead of saying, okay, well it was a direct website. Was it the office website? Was it the company website? Or was it my personal agent website? That way I know when I'm calling or texting or following up with this person, um, they came to my specific website. So they might have a better idea you know, of who I am. Maybe they saw my face, my name, things like that. As opposed to the company where they just got, maybe you got assigned because you're an agent working in that particular area um, or things like that. Just a better way to introduce yourself, better way to start a conversation with a with a person. So, within the Smart CRM, you guys have the ability uh, to filter by your contacts. So again, maybe you're bringing some in from different places. Maybe you want to look at different statuses, um, even lead details of things like their lead type, um, their hashtag. 
And a hashtag within Kiwi Core is not quite what you guys would think about in regards to social media. A hashtag for us is more like a, a file folder or like a, a subgroup of a status. Um, so these could be things like pre-approved, credit repair, uh, investor, uh, follow-up, no location, maybe they want a pool property, you know, whatever it is that's going to help you put them into subgroups. And you can have multiple hashtags assigned to a person. Um, but this will help you filter out by that particular hashtag. Um, so let me do my follow-up hashtag, and I'm going to click on that. I can scroll down. I can also filter out by my sources, when were they created, um, my favorite filters of behavior. So do they have search alerts or not? Do they have? Uh, do they not have any campaigns running? This is where I can um, definitely capitalize and, and get on that. Uh, making sure all my engagements are going out to everybody who should be engaged with. Um, did they save a property? Did they ask a question? Request a showing? When did you reach out? Any property interest? Um, I love to think of this property interest filter for sellers. Um, you know, you're, you're talking to a seller of a particular area, maybe for a particular price range. We'll go into your filters of your smart CRM filter by their price range, filter by their location, and see just how many leads fit that particular um, seller's uh, property. And say, hey, well, I've got six people interested right now. Let's, you know, let's put your home on the market. I'll send it out to my contacts in a mass email, letting them know that your property is coming soon to the market. So what I did is I filtered by my follow-up hashtag, right? So I can either press save filter, and I can save this filter to revisit revisit it quite frequently or I can do a one-time apply filter in blue now I only have one contact with the hashtag of follow-up you can see that right here but they came into my agent website uh, and maybe um, I need to mass email them you can tell I need to email because the phone and the text are grayed out so I don't have an active phone number for them what I can do is click on the name click mass email type out any email I want to I can also do more actions like adding hashtags, changing their status in bulk, transferring, sharing, adding campaigns, um, whatever I need to do from this particular section. Now, what I can also do is save these filters. So you kind of see I've got um, some filters up at the top. So I've got my saved filters in this drop down. I've got my actives, my website this month, my new and actives. And the way I got to that button is by saving the filter clicking on this gear icon, and then making sure I have a quick link on my CRM with the, with the blue toggle. So again, I can do, okay, well, who came in off of my website this month? Probably nobody, but my new and my active leads, so those are their particular statuses, I can follow up and look at these different people. So let's click on Mary here, and this is Mary's profile. So this is um, you know, Mary's name, I can edit that if I want to. Here's her status, her lead type, her rating. Now I will say this tiny little drop down arrow, um, this is the only place where you guys can change the lead type. Um, they can be any combination of these three, but just making sure you understand how and where to update the type of your contacts. Now if you do have a seller, and uh, they have their MLS ID um, in the market. Well, they have their listings in the market that has an MLS ID. You guys can click on that, type out their ID, save it. And you know, if it's active, KV Core will um, weekly send out an email to this contact, um, letting them know how many property views do they have for that particular property from your website, from your company's website, and from KV Core viewers in general. Um, if there are none, KV Core won't send anything out. Um, also, if you don't put anything in here, KV Core is not going to send that out as well. Um, Sherry's asked a good question. What's the difference between a source and a system source? Um, the source is a little more general, um, Sherry. So it's like direct website, organic website. And then the system source is going to tell you, well, it was the office website or it was your agent website that they were generated. I typically search by system source, that's kind of my go-to for reference. 
You guys can see when they were last active on your website, how many total view, property views do they have, uh, contact information, are they put on for search alerts or not, um, what particular hashtags are assigned to these people, um, do they have any drip campaigns assigned to them, and if so, I'm going to click on this drop down and which campaign is it. Uh, do they have any market reports? What's their summary? You know, where are they looking? What's their price range? When were they active? Um, you know, they were generated by an organic website. They were on Facebook before registering on my website. So I must have done something, found one of my ads, and registered there. Clicking down on more details is our contact information, home preferences, uh, their last close date, their homeowner status, um, if they've done evaluation, their capture method, you can see the exact page that somebody was on when they registered. Um, so again, Sherry, your source is organic website here, uh, but your system source is agent website. So it kind of lets you know um, how to search. Yeah, Joan, so how you create your own custom group for contacts is by those hashtags. Um, so you can create any custom hashtag that you want to um, and then just add that to your contacts. Uh, but things like their spouse information, social media profiles, their birthday, um, all good stuff to make sure that you have for each of your contacts. Now, in the middle here, this is called the lead timeline because this is where dates and timestamps of particular actions are taking place. Um, so you can see there's a campaign added, um, there's a task that was assigned, um, different notes, emails that have gone out, property views, um, you know, all that information that you guys can tell from this, uh, for this specific person. Now, if you do have any custom notes, you guys can always pin it to the very top, making sure that, hey, you know, make sure to always CC the spouse or, you know, whatever notes that you need to remind yourself at the very, very top, you can pin it. You can edit the, the note or delete it, again, if it's a custom note. Um, if they are turned on for campaigns, which you can, we can tell by this green check mark, you guys can see future touch points of this campaign. So it looks like um, we have paused the campaign, um, you know, due to lack of response, or maybe they did respond. Uh, but we've got some text messages, phone calls. Um, we can see exactly what's going to take place. We can also delete it if we don't think that that uh, particular touch in this campaign is necessary. Over on the right hand side are our quick actions. So um, depending on uh, the type of phone call or the, the information we have, we can send an email, call, text, add notes, or click down on more actions where you guys can unsubscribe, resubscribe, or turning on or off different behavioral alerts, which we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Now I'm going to click on my alerts tab up here at the very top. These are where your search alerts are going to be. So within these search alerts, you guys have two different alerts available. So this is great if they're in a buyer and a seller in different markets. You guys can click on edit and configure any of the settings that they have. Now I will say KV Core will automatically set up some of your contacts on automatic search alerts. If within 24 to 48 hours they view properties, on your website or the website that they were searching. Now, if they register, they don't have any property views, they will not have an automatic search alert turned on. And so that's where you guys can come in here and, and uh, configure that for them. Um, the, currently, the frequency is you know instant, daily, twice a week, or weekly. We are adding monthly, so stay tuned for that. Um, you guys can save and do not send. You guys can save it and send it. And then a cool thing that your MLS can't do that's kind of different, um, even though that this is going to be sent out automatically via email, you guys can text or copy this link and, and send it out on you know, Instagram, on your Facebook DMs or, or whatever it is to make sure that you're communicating with your leads the best. Now, remember this tasks section because we're going to jump there next, talking about those assigned calls and those assigned tasks that KV Core gives you each day. So in our profile, I showed you guys how you guys can set up those uh, or configure those settings. I showed you how to import your contacts and, and do all of that. Um, so kind of coming back full circle here is our dashboard page where we've got our today's summary. 
Now, based on your uh, your leads, based on those drip campaigns, based on you know the 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 daily phone calls, this is how we're going to get see our our calls and our tasks that get assigned. So even though I've got zero calls to complete today, we can see that I do have one past due call that I need to make. Now, it'll give you the contact name, it'll give you their interest, it'll give you any details about them. You guys can snooze the call for one business day. You can always click on the name of the contact and it will pull up that contact's profile. And then you guys can call right from within KV Core. So I'm going to press on this green call button. And we can say, okay, well, here's our contact info. Here's the number that we're going to call. And we're going to let you know that KV Core is going to call your cell phone from your profile first before we connect to your lead. Now, this is on purpose. We do this um, for a reason because KV Core is going to automatically document the day, the time, how long you spoke to your contact for. And then you guys can take it one step further and log the call, which is going to actually mark that call task as completed. So then you guys can make any notes saying, hey, I got to get back in touch with them or I got I only left a voicemail or, hey, they're ready to go in the next three months. Um, and then extremely important that you guys either click contacted, not home or bad phone number. Because again, this is going to mark that call task as completed, so it no longer is that one pass due, it'll, it'll show zero. Now your tasks section, I don't have any here, but um, these are based on your drip campaigns that get assigned. So typically things like send a, an email or a text of properties in the leads area. Well, click on the contact's name. You can still do that. Pull up the listings, you know, see what's in their area, and then send it out to them, and then mark that task as done. Again, these get assigned each day, so make sure you're logging in and you're completing those as they get assigned because they can stack up, um, and this is, you know, one of the easiest ways to just making sure that you're nurturing and following up with um, specific people based on, you know, KV course algorithm that we have. So kind of let's recap from where we are so far. Uh, homework assignment part one, go to your profile, update all of your contact information. Homework assignment part two, go to the lead engine, import your contacts as well as redirect those third party sources. And then the last piece of today is um, homework assignment part three, which is jump to your marketing autopilot and understand the automatic messaging that goes out from KB Core. The first piece here is our behavioral automation, where I'm going to click on learn more. And we've got a few questions here. So before I jump into this, um, if you text through KV Core, do you get text responses from client into the system and my phone or just the system? Great question, Irina. Um, you'll get a text response uh, just to the system. KV Core will um, give you a text reminder saying, hey, just so you know, this person said this. But you're going to want to log back in to your KV Core platform. You can use the KV Core mobile dialer app to respond. Um, it's a free app. It'll allow you to text, call, send out listings, uh, do a whole bunch of stuff that you can easily text back. But you're going to want to text back through the system, not your personal cell phone, to have that text message automatically um, documented. Um, Omar, what number shows up on the recipient's phone caller ID? Um, it will be your KV Core specific smart number. So if you guys are not aware of what your smart number is yet, click on your email address in the upper right hand corner and it's going to be this first phone number right here. Now smart numbers are assigned at the office level. So if you guys have a, a buddy in, in a different office, um, they may have a different smart number from you, but again it is per office that you have a smart number. Now, the reason that it's smart, and you're probably going to ask this, is, well, what if um, my contact calls that number and I don't want it to go to somebody else? No, it won't. KV Core knows which leads are assigned to you, and it's going to track and route all of those um, calls and texts from your own leads back to you. Um, the only time that's going to go like a round robin is if it's a brand new lead, no one's ever contacted them, they're not in the system, um, and it'll just get kind of get round robined out. Uh, Brian, if we are going to be on vacation, how do we set that up on the system? Brian, that is within your profile. 
if you click on that gear icon, there is an on vacation toggle that you can turn on right there. Cool, love it. So to these behavioral alerts here, um, this is automatic communication KV Core sends out based on your leads behavior on your website. Now I want you guys to jump in here and I want you to set up these statuses that you want to receive communication for this. Now again, just like those phone calls, I have opted to do just my prospects, new leads and active leads. You guys can be, you know, change it however you want to, but again, I jump in here, turn off the sphere and um, have these three added. Now what we're doing is we're looking at behavior at the, you know, these six different behavioral types. And then as soon as they do that behavior, Kiwi Core automatically emails and texts your lead based on that particular behavior. Now, you as the agent can also receive alerts about that, you know, when your lead does that particular behavior. Um, you know, if the lead visits the site five times in one week, I'm going to have Kiwi Core email and text me as the agent letting me know that, you know, my lead John Smith has just visited the site. So again, homework 3.1, uh, jump in here, making sure you pick the right statuses that receive these six different behavioral types, or communication, rather. All right, homework assignment 3.2, and that's the last of it, I promise, um, is your smart campaigns. Now, making sure you guys understand that there is automatic communication associated with these smart campaigns. And I just want to make sure you guys know, you know, what the messaging kind of says, how they respond back to you, things like that. So um, we talked to your company. We have given you guys 10 campaigns um, to automatically add to your uh, to your personal libraries down here. Um, so you guys should see, you know, about 10 of those get added. Um, they are probably uh, with a white unlocked lockbox. Um, letting you guys know that they, these have been given to you. These have been handpicked by your company. Um, and we're going to allow you guys to turn those campaigns on or off based on, you know, using the ones that you guys want to. So again, to turn them on or off is this status bar on the far right hand side. Uh, the toggle, if it's gray, it's turned off. So even if your contact matches this particular start trigger, that came, campaign will not be added. You have to have it on for the campaign to be used. So what I'm going to encourage you guys to do is, um, I'm going to just click on one of my campaigns here, is click into a campaign name, click into a few of them, as many as you want, and then um, you know review these campaign settings, and then review the campaign actions. So this is the actual content that can really get sent out to your leads. So immediately I have an email going out, and to see what email and what the message is, I can view the template. So, hey, I hope your, your week is going great. I'd love to sit down and chat about, chat about your home. That, you know, sounds okay with me. We've got some merge tags that are going to auto pull in the leads information, my information, making sure that they can contact me. So, again, jump in here, kind of read over. Okay, well, I've got a, an email going out. I've got a call that I'm going to make, another call I'm going to make, and then a text that's going to go out. That sounds good to me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this campaign on. Now that is how automatic communication can get go out and get sent to your contacts. Now in the next coming trainings, we're gonna talk about um, how to customize these campaigns, how to edit them, how to create your own. But for now, I just want you guys to go into these campaigns, read over some of the settings, read over some of the touches and turn on like maybe three to five of those campaigns. Because for those new leads that are coming in, um, I'd really encourage you guys to make sure to have those specific campaigns turned on uh, their title is called campaign or excuse me default new lead seller and default new lead buyer those are probably the two at minimum I would turn on but I'd probably turn on a bunch more if it was me too I'm I'm, I'm huge on automation um, again taking the total guess out of my 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 work um Doreen, you can go to your filters. Um, is If you go to your profile, Doreen, add in your MLS ID. Um, you can go to your listings tab over here on the left-hand side, and, and that's how you filter out by your own listings. We have to know your MLS ID for us to be able to filter out by your listings. Otherwise, we don't know which ones are yours. 
All right, you guys. So that's what I wanted to cover. Again, I was going to leave it a little bit more foundational today. Uh, but again, recapping the entire thing, number one, going to your profile, making sure you add things like your agent MLS ID, adding a signature, things like that. Um, homework assignment part two, going to your lead engine, preparing your leads for import, sending it off to my team to import for you. Um, redirecting your third party sources with that lead Dropbox. Um, so Zillow, Zillow Realtor.com, all that good stuff. Homework assignment part three um, would be to go to your behavioral alerts within the marketing autopilot section and making sure that the correct statuses receive that communication. And then uh, making sure you guys go to your smart campaigns and turn on, you know, three to maybe five campaigns as you review them and get them added. So again, uh, tons of little pieces, tons of foundational pieces that are really going to help us later on as we're going to be talking about a few of these different features um, within the KV Core uh, system. Um, so again, we've got more training coming up next week um, where we're going to be talking about um, automation next time so that we're going to go deep dive into your uh, behavioral alerts, your campaigns, um, some mass emails, um, some uh, some apps to use. The following week, we're going to be talking about how to generate some free leads using KV Core. And then the following week, we're going to be talking about your uh, your website um, and how to generate and how to leverage your listings to uh, to bring in more leads. Uh, so again, you guys have those three different pieces of homework that I would love for you guys to complete before next Tuesday's training. Um, we do have those courses available for you guys um, within our learning portal. Um, we also have support articles helping you along the way um, to KV Core. Um, Doreen, we may need to get with my support team. If you could send them um, your MLS ID and an active listing address, uh, they should be able to pull up your uh, your MLS ID. Sometimes ours is a bit different than than what you guys typically have listed. Uh, Debra, your website should be set up. It looks like we're having a bit of a lag um, in getting the name servers for your website to update. Um, so give it just a little bit of time if you're not seeing that. But a way you guys can access your website um, is click on your email address in the upper right hand corner. And then your website should be right here where you can click on it and it will take you to your specific website. Uh, we do have, you know, about five minutes if there are any other questions. Um, again, if not, get ready for next week. Uh, go through uh, your homework. Uh, we do have, and I think it's really cool, really important, it's uh, an agent success plan. And this is going to kind of break up and, and it's going to really uh, supplement our training really well, um, breaking it out by four different weeks of um, you know, kind of getting you guys started. So getting familiar with KV Core, um, kind of what we did today uh, in a week two, different training topics, again, helping you guys um, leverage, you know, taking your business and what you guys are already doing, adding it into KV Core and maybe sprinkling in, in a few uh, new features there as well. Um, Matthew, uh, you can mass import your contacts again from that lead engine bulk import option. Um, if you remember, my team can help you set that up as well. Um, Irina, how many team members are allowed? It depends on uh, only team members can be added by your company admins. Um, so reach out to them um, if you want to uh, to add some more people into your uh, your company. Uh, Kenneth, your website URL can uh, be modified. It can't be totally changed. If you do have your own domain name, you guys can have Kiwi Core host that for a cost, or you guys can use like your domain registrar, like GoDaddy or Bluehost or whatever, and you guys can forward your vanity domain into your Kiwi Core website. Um, or if you go into the marketplace within Kiwi Core, you can have my team host that uh, for $10 per month. Um, Matthew, if you go to your KV Core section, um, if you type in how to import, it's how to import your contacts to KV Core. That'll walk you through. You can also go to your lead engine over here on the left hand side and go to the bulk import option. 
Um, Alfred, you can do your own email uh, to get your pixel integrated um, within your web and IDX setting. We're gonna cover that in a couple weeks, um, but that's in your web and IDX settings. Um, Steve, your URL can be changed on your website, but only modified if you have a, a total vanity domain. Um, that will need to be hosted either by, you know, my KV core team for a small cost, or you can have it redirected um, from your uh, domain registrar. Um, Vanessa, if you had a different website, or if you have your, a custom website, um, you will need to have somebody host that. Um, but if you are just kind of following the same plan as your office and your company, you don't need to redirect um, your site. If you have any questions about that, my support team can definitely help. Um, Tammy, they are not GoDaddy specialists. Um, I would recommend contacting GoDaddy if you need help how to forward. Um, Justin, there's uh, you can schedule a call with a support team, but they're about 15 minute increments. So I would really, really encourage you guys to feel empowered, go through those support articles, just type out some keywords. It pretty much has every um, option available to get the help that you guys need. Um, Tad, so our phone number is connected to your phone number. So um, in the sense that KV Core is able to track, so the KV Core number is con connected automatically to KV Core. So any type of calls, texts uh, that you do or your leads do to that KV Core number, um, it's going to automatically let you know. It's going to give you a notification. It's going to be added to your leads contact, to your timeline. It's all going to be there. Um, I think the benefit of having KV core number rather than yours is that could your KV core number is basically your dedicated work line. Um, you know, once you get a little more serious with your contacts, actually turn them into clients, um, you can say, hey, let's, you know, I do have a, a personal cell phone. Let me give you this as we, um, you know, as we talk um, rather than having it just on your um, your KV core work line. It's, it's worked really well for a number of people. I haven't had anybody complain from it. Um, they think the KV core number is great, not only for lead generation, um, but again, lead nurturing and, and automation as well, because those text messages and those emails automatically get sent out. Deborah, you can change just about everything on the website, even though it is templated. Um, and so again, just go to your web and IDX and you guys can update those settings there. We'll talk about that in a later session. All right, you guys, I do have a hard stop, so I'm going to jump out. Uh, but again, we do have a training session next Tuesday at the exact same time. So I will see you guys there and uh, keep up with your homework. Thanks. Have a good day.